The what, are we, what are we going to talk about? You. There you go. <laughs> tell, tell, you us the yeah, tell us about the builds. There you go. About the cars? Yeah. Your life. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're beautiful. Very unique, unusual, custom made, and I love the colors. We got green. I don't know what to call that. And then very light blue, silver ish. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you got that right. Yeah, you, you, you. Yeah. All right, so um, we're at the SEMA show 2022. This is the Renner booth. My good friend Ronald from Masterclass slash Renner is here. And I wanted to talk to you about the E30 M3. So fun story about this car is that we actually had a chance to see this at right. Masterclass in Miami as a bare shell. Correct. Just the bare shell was painted but nothing else was in it, pretty much. Well, you see it now. The car was, uh, when you came to the show, I mean, to the shop, it was a uh, bare metal. Uh, it just came out of the media blast. We seal it, and then we paint it, paint the engine bay, the whole interior. It took us a little bit to put it together, but here in SEMA, we managed to get it running, get it driving. We drove it with you on the Red Rock. It was amazing. Uh, it was a great experience and we're so blessed and so happy that we can present it to the public here at SEMA. Okay, so the last time we had a chance to shoot with you guys, we were actually all over Miami shooting the Renner 8. That was fun. So <laughs> we have three cars here today. We have the Renner 8, which is based off of an 8 series. That's the V12 one, right? It used to be a V12. Now we have an S62 powertrain, a manual, of course. S62 more reliable, makes more power. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, you know, the 8 Series back in the days, they have a beautiful V12 that I, we, we love and respect, but this car was a good candidate to do a nice swap or a nice build that is Renner. Um, the S62, it have much more torque, more mm -hmm. power. And of course, making that car from automatic to manual, six speed is super delightful. You know, it's fun, it's very well balanced. It feels comfortable. You got power, you got comfort, and you have all the amenities that the 8 Series have with modern stuff, that, that's the purpose for Renner. And then Renner 5 is a 5 Series, what year is that one? That's a 1988, that was, uh, that's a build that we're still working on it, but you know, we can miss the opportunity to show it at SEMA. Yeah. So that's like a, a plus that we bring into the show. So people see what we're doing right now. And that's also a V10, that's a super cool car because we manufacture our own headers. We did a dry sum system to make the car well balanced with the with the engine. So there's a lot of engineering in that car. Yeah. And and you know, we went more luxury into the interior. There is a relicate interior that is a, it's a nice fine leather that we found. And also, you know, to we restore every the same thing. We went through media blast, everything full restored. Uh, we did coilovers on that. And of course, we do we put the Renner wheels. A lot of people ask why the Renner wheels. We partnership it with AO13 to custom build wheels for us that you know anybody that likes the classic BMWs like E30 M3s or E28 M5s, they understand that this is an 18-inch wheel oh. fitted perfectly on a on, on a on a E30. Yeah. Also E28, that's hard to put a, a wheel like that. And then what we did with AL13 is we fine-tuned the offset and everything to make the car uh, 
fit it properly so it won't rub and you can drive it like a regular car. These cars are sitting on coilovers and like the older car too. So imagine yeah. you have coilovers, you got a, a oversized wheel and it doesn't look oversized if you really see the car. The same thing with the E28. And also we refine also the Renner 8 with now with AL13s. Mm. Uh, we like to keep it vintage or classic, so we can put bigger wheels on the Renner A, but 18, I think, is the right fitment for these cars right now. You want to, you know, you want to make, you, Renner, you want to drive it, you know, you want to yeah. use it, you want to, you want to, you want to make sure that it doesn't rub, doesn't, uh, you know, exceed the expectation uh, or the specifications of the car. Yeah, so if, for those of you guys who are wondering what Renner is, Renner is pretty much revisioned and restored BMWs from a, a different era for those of people who may not like the more modern BMWs. I'm more th talking about the M2. <laughs> <laughs> nice. um, the styling is a little, uh, I wouldn't say rough, but it's, it's some acquired taste maybe, yeah. you know? So uh, some of these old ones, especially the E30, you know, this is what people have fallen in love with. When, when they love BMWs, they love something like this. You yeah, know? the boxy, you know, the boxy flair. Uh, since I was a kid, you know, I'd see these cars back in the, you know, I'm, I'm born in 1976, but 1988 was when this car came out. And, you know, it was a passion. It was amazing to see these cars fighting on the DTM races. And, you know, Mercedes was competing against them too. So, you know, manufacturers at that time, they were throwing the best guns to survive, especially in the US market that this car took a year to really enter into the United States. So I think for us, for Renner, it, we really appreciate the BMW, especially on the classics. The BMW at that time, they went all out. For example, the 8 Series was a prototype that was launched, and they were not supposed to launch it, but they took the risk. And some people, you know, criticized it at the, at the time because the car was very ahead of the time. But now it's so appreciated that it still looks modern. It still oh, looks, you know. The no B pillar is yeah, so cool. That's, still. Exactly. Imagine yeah. that, that engineer, when we, when we took the part, the A series, and that's a good question. How the car protects from the impact from a, from a B pillar where you don't have a B pillar? When you take that car apart, it's incredible how the engineer, so they had to reinforce, of course, the, the whole arc of the top, the roof, and the flooring to make sure if you have a side impact, it won't bend. Mm -hmm. So this car have a lot of technology back in the days. And, and now it's cool because now people are appreciating. And it's cool too, I mean, I love new cars. I love M2s, M3s, M4s. I, I'm digesting the new grill from BMW, like everybody else, but you know, I, they, they're doing the best for, I guess, pulling the car. And I have to respect the new engineers. You know, they, they, they're pulling off some super cool and super fast cars. So, you know, but you know, having this car, uh, it's, Renner is pretty much be like somebody have a new car, but hey, they want to go back and feel that sensation from the 80s and the 90s. But you know, let's compete a little bit with the new stuff yeah. in, an, in an old car. Yeah, let's talk about this. So of course the main <coughs> feature is the V10 out of M5, right? Correct. What year M5? This came that? out of a 2008 BMW E60 M5. Uh, we literally bought the car. We buy, when we do a Renner, we buy a whole car. Uh, we inspect an M5. The donor car has to meet our expectations. Why? Because, you know, we need harnesses, we need electronics, uh, engine. We drive the cars, and then, unfortunately, we had to tear down. But we had to we had to get the, only the best to build this. So this this motor in particular was a special build because we went a little bit more outside the box compared to the E28. Uh, we did a, a nice standalone. Also, we did a, a lot of people are doing Banos delete. This is a Banos Delete, so this thing is set up for more power. We're right now 625 on this car, and we're, maybe in the future, maybe we'll tune it to be, to be more. But at this time, for 625 on this little little car is quite enough, you know. Okay, so 625, you feel and hear every bit of it. <laughs> My ears are still ringing because I, I remember Ronald Wood saying that it was a little bit loud, and when you say a little bit loud. I hear loud cars all the time, <laughs> but this is a different level loud. I mean, Ooh. it sounds so good. A v BMW V10 uncorked, completely open. Oh, pretty yeah. much straight back, right? And adjusted to max power all the time. See, the, the difference with the Vanos, the Vanos you have progressively, you increment your RPM, and the Vanos helps the car 
to produce power. What we did on this setup, of course, you know, it was custom tailored to the client that he wanted like that. We adjust, the, we, we fix the vanos into a way that you have power all the time. So oh. it's a very aggressive setting. I, I don't think you could fit a bigger motor in here. This is it. This is the biggest. Oh, you can see the harness in the back. There's like five, six millimeters against the firewall. Jeez. So. And then the headers, everything. <laughs> yeah. it, it just. It's tight. How it's many tight. times do you have to go in and out? Maybe Ooh, like a lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah. So you crazy. Know, a lot of measurements, a lot of engineering. Yeah, I so. mean, because if you had the stock intake, it wouldn't even fit. The hood probably wouldn't fit. Believe it or not, I, we managed to use, a, this is pretty much an, a, 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 like going, utilizing the original intake, but we did our carbon fiber setting. But if you see the plenum, it had the same dynamics. And also we managed to even put a, a reinforcement in the top and we can close the bonnet. We can Got close it. the hood of the car with all the components that people will say, no way. For example, if you see here, compared to the fender here, you say this, the, the, the bonnet will close and it, it clears completely. So uh, then what kind of standalone engine management? Uh, we're using running? Delta. It's a company we have, uh, we're working with uh, UK. They've been in Europe for a while. They do, there's a drift car that uses that software and they do a lot of racing or they do a lot of engineering uh, for racing cars in Europe like Rally and, and um, you know, pretty much the V10 has been used also in um, some uh, prototype cars like LP cars. So this is pretty much three times the horsepower from stock then? Um, almost four. <laughs> almost four times. Because <laughs> yeah. we're being generous with the... Yeah, with the uh, exactly. What is it, the S? S14. S14, S14 came with 175 US, uh, 195, I'm sorry, 195. It was an Evo, it went all the way to 225. Of course, DTM, mm -hmm. you can go to 265, but you know, it was a DTM race car. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this is 625 and I think we can go a little bit farther because uh, it just, you know, tuning. I, I don't know how much further you want to go because it's going to be really, really hard to keep this, Yeah. keep traction. I mean, you, you are running exactly. Yokohama tires, you're running the Flavor Flaves, we, which we love. <laughs> um, it, it, I think it fits really well with this uh, wheel. Yes. I love, love, love the aero disc style. So if you see our, our, our artists, mm -hmm. all this is being painted by hand. Whoa. Everything was by hand. It was such a big project, uh -huh. but it, wor it was worth it. You know, the, everything is hand painted. It came out super cool. You know, we, we, we appreciate our local artists that took care of the pink striping, also the wheels. It's so, it's so beautiful. I love that it's so subtle too. You have just a little bit yeah. It says Renner on the corner here. T tell me about the body. What did this start life as a? M3? This is a yes E30 M3. Um, back in the 80s, BMW have the the regular E30, and then they went um, on the M3. That is pretty much the, the father, the beginning of the M3. They went with a different concept, so they want to compete with DTM uh, and DTM. And what they did is they they brought to life this beautiful car. It's a E30 M3. They came from factory with all these flares. This is all OEM. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. this is the wing. The, the flares. In, in reality, it was a regular E30, and the engineers from BMW, what they did is they widened enough the flares, and also they expand this portion of this apron here. It was expanded so they can do better wing on, on, on the race. Uh, so that's one of the things that is so iconic. This car is like, has so many championships that, you know, I lost count. And still today, a very desirable car for anything that you put in the front. You know, you can do drifting, you can do road racing, you can do, you know, rally, and, and everybody, everybody that drives this car after that comes out of the car with a smile, so. Yeah, and also the power to weight right now, is it's gotta be so insane. I don't yeah. know, I really don't know how you're gonna be able to floor it, it at all. Well, we did some adjustments to the suspension. Uh, we have worked with the sway bars. Uh, there's reinforcement all over the place, of course, because of V10 uh, and the power. But um, we're impressed how the car behaved because, of course, you know, when you have such a powertrain and you want to make sure it's not too heavy in the front and also when you, when you drive it, you don't have that, that, you know, that incline in the back. So, so it, we work with some of uh, the coilover system reinforcement and some other adjustment on, on the chassis. And we were impressed how it's working right now. You know, we always like Renner 8 and, and Renner 3, we always are trying to adjust things. We have some other orders. So once we do these cars, whatever we do to these cars, it, it can give us a, a good feedback that we can use. 
But yeah. So then this, all this, this stock right here, the side skirt? Everything is original everything from BMW. Everything is Bindu. original. So if you see this car, uh, when we drove it to, to, the, to the Red Rock, mm -hmm. um, the car with the bonnet on, with the hood on, you don't see nothing out of the ordinary. We haven't even installed our Evo. Mm. We have an Evo splitter that goes all the way here. Got it. And we have a wing, adjustable wing that we didn't we didn't want to overflow the car for the show. Yeah. But this car have an Evo wing, I mean Evo splitter. And also we have a wing in the back, carbon fiber adjustable, that we don't want to overflow for now. We just want to present it a little bit humble, but it have we have more settings on this. So were you able to source a lot of these new parts? For, yeah. from BMW or did you have to? Original. A uh, lot of these are original. Uh, pretty much this car, we took it apart. It's getting very difficult, but you know, we have some sources in Germany. Believe it or not, in, in uh, we got some in Thailand. We got a lot of people now that they have a lot of old inventories. Then we try to buy everything that it could be new. This car have new windshield, new rear glass. Every single gasket is new. Every single molding is new. The you know, it's, I can't believe you were able to find a new windshield. There, we have the last five available from BMW. You can see, it's original. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous on that. So I want to make sure my clients get everything original possible. And we are, believe it or not, we're talking with some uh, fellows at BMW in Germany because it's, got, it's, causing a, it's, it's creating an issue that, you know, anybody wants to, these cars are getting very popular, not only us to build, but anybody want to restore. And BMW, I hear some conversations, BMW might consider reopen some, some parts, some stock. For example, we, we got a new bumper that was a plus from a Euro bumper, we got it. New side skirts are brand new. The rear bumper is still the, the original, but it was in perfect condition, so we, we managed to get it done. The sunroof lid is new, the wing is new, so those are things that are so hard to find and we got it. Yeah, because it's, it's one thing to have a new rebuilt fully restored E30 M3. It's another to have a more modern yeah. one with a modern power plant. Correct. It, this is just so crazy. Um, what What's the color? Can, can you tell me about the color? It's been a, it's a custom blue silver metallic. Mm -hmm. It have a lot of flake. You saw in the pictures that you took, it's very, very metallic. But we wanna, we, we, it's pretty much like an individual BMW color. But we have, uh, we have some fine tones from Mercedes, from BMW. We just want to make sure we got the right blend. Uh, Renner is, as you can see, all the colors are pretty much blended by us. So we try to get to the right tone. Of course, a Renner, in any client wants to preserve the original color, we do, the, all these cars, are, all the Renners are custom tailored to clients. If you want to keep your originality of the car, we can keep it original. We, if you want an Alpine white M3, or if you want a Diamond Schwartz metallic black that is original, or, or cinnamon red, all those colors we have. So, but you know, these are very unique cars that, that, that we want to present it, and the clients that we got involved now buying these cars, they want, you know, you want to, you're going to do it, you got to do something different. Okay, so two things I want to talk to you about. Let's talk about price. So, the way it sits right now, how much would you sell this car for? We, it's funny because we got a couple of people already asking to if we want to sell it. These cars, you can, we have, depends also, that's one of the things of renters. Right, but I'm just talking about this one. 350. 350,000. Yeah. Okay. And we already have somebody that most probably hit the hammer. Um, it's, um, you have to understand too, the, the, these cars that you can see are on our brochures and are on our social media, these cars, they go all the way to the metal. So it's yeah. not only about the powertrain, it's about hand. I hand. mean, I've seen it. You saw that? I've seen it at, at <laughs> Masterclass yeah. where, where you guys do exactly. it. Exactly. So, uh, okay, 350. But you've, I'm sure you've seen um, E30 M3s in really good condition sell for quite a bit of money, too. Yeah. And that helps. Maybe all, like the Evos, how much did they sell for? Well, Almost 200,000? Evo, Evo, they go for 200, 250. Um, I think I saw one recently private. I have a pri we, we do have a lot of private collectors that we get involved that he pay quite almost 400,000 for one. But it's Jeez. condition A, no mileage. And it was for a very special person that I can say, but it's very private. That's one of the things too in Renner that we have a lot of private clients and we were very, a little bit uh, more not fully exposed because of the privacy of the clients, but now 
that we see the potential to grow and the potential to expose to the, to, to the whole, you know, globally. So now I think it's, a, it's cool that we can present the cars. But before it was more private, but now we want to be more into the Okay, into the so 350, what is the way, like, let, because you guys are just starting out building these and, you know, you've had the 8 Series for a while now, mm -hmm. um, what, what is the process? Like, let's say if somebody wants a renter, do they just ask you to find one and then build it for them? Or do they have to bring you a car? Like, That's what's the question. process? Well, you know, it all depends. For example, this car right here, because of the package, we will say this is pretty much the stream package. It's oscillating into that number. But we can do a renter more affordable. You know, we have a package that I do personally like too. This is more show, it's a driving car. You saw it driving. But you, if you want something more humble, that it have super cool power, we can build one for like 200. That is uh, E30 M3 S54 swap. We have a new carbon uh, fiber intake build. It's super cool, super cool uh, build. And we're doing one, we have an order for that one. This is pretty much extreme, you know, like what we can do with pretty much yeah. more power, you, more, more. You just wanted to show what's possible with this exactly. chassis. Pretty I'm much. sure a lot of people probably wondered what's the biggest motor. Maybe they're thinking that the V8 is the biggest that you can put <laughs> in here. Yes. But obviously you've proven that a V10 Correct. fits. You have to understand a V10 is, it was produced by Williams of Formula One. I know they're not doing very well in F1 right now, but it's a team that was very, uh, it was very famous. They, they build, bring a lot of championships. And one of the things that you have to understand as a Formula One team, that if you do your own motors, you're a really good engineer because you know some formula cars that just pay motors to other people you're you're right now having a, a williams motor in there built you know and and that's that's the integrity that that you can if you add all the components you know of course and a v10 uh putting a v10 on a car is not easy you know we see a lot of people uh, and I, I i applaud and i respect the talent of everybody trying to do it we're not the only ones that we've done a V10 on an E30 M3, or maybe I haven't seen an E28, but it's difficult. You know, it's difficult, there's a lot of engineering, and one of the things that we do at Renner, I mean, there's a lot of people that do drifting, and you know, drifting is a professional driver, driving the car, a cage, and everything. But when you're delivering a Renner to an individual, it has to be safe, it has to, you have to stop. There's a lot of safety features that have to be involved. And that's what's that's the, those details, and also the luxury of the car inside also add on the, the leather. Yeah, let's talk about the interior yeah. a little bit. So you see the the leather. We go through. I mean, this thing we would love to pop the sound system, but you know, of course, they don't allow it. But this thing have full customized sound system, and it's all hidden. We want it to be stealth. The Every, gauges are super cool too. So yeah, are these tough. actually from the M5? From the M3, this it was the cluster was an M cluster, yeah. but we took it apart completely and customized it. So now it reads the right RPM for the car. Also, you know, we had the, our company logo, and we we completely redone the the board of the cluster. So all the electronics. That's another thing with Brenner. You know, a lot of people can put swaps, and and I respect that, and I, and and that's super cool. I like people when they go the extra mile for that. But when you do a Brenner, you have to deliver to a client a full address car every single component of the car has to be functional every single component of the car has to be addressed every single aspect of safety has to function so that's that's one of the okay key i'm gonna too. ask you a question though i know you guys are based in miami so it's very hot in miami <laughs> does <laughs> yes. this have air conditioning um we're in the works this one in particular we have you know we have it in display right now but we have all the components it's gonna have it that's our promise to everybody with renters we, all the cars that come with power steering, all the cars comes with AC, like Renner 8. Renner 8 have all the components working. Every single component works, the OBC, everything works on the car. But how, There's, where's the room for it? Uh, <laughs> on this car, believe it or not, it's easier because um, we got clear on the uh, soft frame on the bottom. There's, there's this room, so we can put a small compressor. The front of the car still have the room for the condenser. <laughs> And those Where AC does it go? Where is it going to oh, go? Right, right here? There. Yeah, well, underneath. Okay. Like if you remove the, the, the grill, the condenser goes inside this housing, like the regular E30. So uh -huh. we didn't, if you can see, this is, a, this is pretty much a customized radiator. It looks like the E36, but it was customized by us. But it's pretty much the same length. 
and the uh, condenser, it can fit in there. Now, the uh, only thing that we have to do is route the lines, and we, can, we have a smaller compressor. Believe it or not, we might use an Acura. So we go to the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> they have the best AC. Yeah, whatever you I need. I love the ACs on the, on the Hondas and, and the yeah. Toyota. So we might do a fitting like that. We did it on the 2002, the orange one that you saw. Oh, okay. And it's a refrigerator. I love it. So, that's perfect. Yeah, so, Great for cruising around in Miami. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's one of the things where we're working on the engineering, the cooling of the car. Now, you know, once we have the AC, we have to increment the cooling. So that's on the works right now. Once we put the AC, we want to put auxiliary fans all over the place to keep the car cool. The, one of the cool features on this car, these are carbon fiber intakes done by us. It was completely... It was yes, it's a kind of a shame that this is here, honestly, because I saw the, uh, uh, the 5 Series without this on it, and I saw the motor, you know, you see the individual throttle bodies, and wow, it we're looks working on that. so cool. We're gonna have one too. Really? Oh, oh. Oh you, my you, God. you will see it. I just cannot, I could not believe that that was something available on a streetcar, you know? Yeah. And I think, I think what people don't understand is yeah. the M5 from that era, 2010 or 2008. Eight, yeah. 2010, yeah, 10. Yeah, it sounded so good already. Oh, yeah. But with it in this straight pipe, pretty much, right? This is that <laughs> straight pipe? Yes. Well, we, we got a small resonator, but we can... I don't think it really does much. <laughs> it's no. so loud. I know, I know. It sounds so crisp and sounds so good. I'm glad you like it's, it. It's incredible how it sounds. Thank you, man. I mean, I w we were so far away. We were shooting at Red Rock area in Las Vegas, and we were. I was getting ready to take my pictures, and I was like, oh my god, I hear the car. Couldn't even see you yet. So loud, but it sounded so good. And <laughs> Yeah, cool, it, it's such a beautiful car. Love Thank this you, build man. so much. Can't wait to come back to Miami because I want to shoot Renner 5. Yeah. Um, I think that'll be a that cool build, too. That car is something else, yeah. So, I mean, I, what's next? You have 3, 5, and 8. Are you going to have a Renner 7? Um, I'm working on maybe Renner 7 and maybe possibility uh, we had on the works to do a Renner E34 wagon with a V10. Square Loki wagon. Yeah, I like yeah. those. I like the way they look. Yeah, square yeah. with the. We have an order for that one too. Uh, were the wagons? I don't remember ever seeing them in the U.S. With it, were they yeah, common they came, in the U.S.? They came 525, 540, but they didn't came M5. The M5, the E34 M5 wagon, it was only Euro intended. Mm -hmm. I did have two of them. I regret I sell them because now they're hard to find. But uh, that's one of the next orders that we have uh, mm -hmm. soon. We're gonna try um, a E34 wagon, and of course V10. Uh, that's, 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 and we're very excited with that project. We're getting some orders. I mean, this this guy here has been the has been the great exposure for us. Uh, we're very proud. We have a great team that worked so hard with me. That I think that's the blessed to be here. I don't want to take credit on myself for this. This is this is a labor of love, labor of patience with my with my family. And, and, and people wanted to, to go the extra mile and, and bring it what is really, what is really, what, you know, what is a good product that we can, pro we can actually present. Uh, we're gonna produce an, the next Runner 8. We have a Runner 8 coming with a V10 also. Oh, that's gonna be cool. And we're playing, we're playing with the exhaust, with the headers. So we wanna make sure this guy, another Runner 8, will look, uh, will look very stealth but with the amazing noise of the, of the V10, of course, and, and the power they produce. It had plenty of space. I think that, that swap is gonna be also very cool. And, and I think it's a well-balanced because it's the, car, the car is designed to hold a heavy motor in the front. So putting a V10 in, on an 8 Series is, for us, it's gonna be, I mean, it's gonna, it's, I think it's gonna work out super cool. Okay. Yeah, because I had a chance to drive this in this configuration. Yeah. Um, haven't had a chance to drive this yet, so hopefully when I come back to Miami, I can drive sure. the three and the five. And uh, that car I, right there. Oh man, I'm excited. Cool. Yeah. The way that the, the headers and the engineer on the on the that one is sitting on a dry sum system. It was a very expensive uh, setup, but it's worth it because of the balance. I mean, if you can see the motor, how it's sitting right now. Yeah. So let, let's just quickly. Um, <laughs> we're, we're coming up on. We're coming up on 30 minutes, but let's just quickly talk about 
what your estimated price for this and this? Well, um, like we're talking, you know, the way thing, it sits right now, we're getting. Out of, I'm, I'm impressed. We're getting a lot of offers right now. People want to take this car out of, uh, out of the book. <laughs> and um, this one, you know, we. This is our prototype. There's a lot of things that we had to redesign after. Uh, when we, we draw the car, there's a lot of things we change. Of course, for example, the wheels. It, we, now our, they were sitting before on HREs. Now we have runner wheels that are a partnership with AL13s. Uh, we redesigned a little bit of the exhaust now. We redesigned the engine mount because it was sitting a little bit off. And we're working with a lot of electronics. You know, the A-Series it was is a car that is being given us a lot of lessons because it's, it was all, all electronics. It was so many modules that we're right now eliminating it and now making it more reliable. So it, it's, you know, the, this car, the challenge of the A-Series is more the electronics. You know, yeah. the motor, an A40 and A50 are very humble motors. Transmission is very straightforward, but, you know, electronic is the killer on this car. So price. This car right here is sitting at 275, 300. Uh, this car, you know, it's our prototype. Yeah. I would hate to, to the car go, but if you know somebody comes with the right cash, this you is can your this is your job though. You gotta sell yeah. these cars. I got a lot right. of love for this car. So, 275, 300, depending on the day. Mm -hmm. 350. What about this one? Oh man. <laughs> this is, um, as you can see. This is an earlier production that we've done. So the more we mature, you know, we're a company that comes from, from scratch. We're, you can maybe see a little bit of aspects of this build that it looks more refined. I mean, that doesn't mean the other cars are not, but this car have more, um, we have a lot of uh, technology into the car. Even if you don't see it, we went uh, into a different lubrication system we add more power, but we preserve all the originality of the harness. All the all the sensors are original, working on a standalone. So we work with a company in UK to give us a plug-and-play harness and preserving the vanos on that other car because the standalone was more aggressive. We we took out the vanos. In that you gain power, mm -hmm. but on this one I want to make sure I have all my guys in in place. Yeah. So you have. You have all the original BMW harness. I'm, I'm very, very meticulously on, on, on trying to preserve the original DNA of yeah. the car. One of ten. Yes, sir. Wow. Oh, there's the dry sums. Wow. <laughs> it's a big a beer cake. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> so, all right, so this, I'm guessing, is probably going to be more than. Mm, no, but this, this one could be around the three, also 300, 350. People will say you're crazy. Well, there's there's clients that want original cars and clients that want this. Yeah. And unfortunately, not unfortunately, actually, when you want to stand out differently, you gotta pay more money. Okay. You know? I, I I'm just gonna say it. I'll, I'll give you guys the challenge, right? So, you said the prices, you know, three three fifty, three hundred, maybe three fifty also. Come to the booth or come, come check it out. Go to masterclass. Go to Renner in Miami. Look at the car and be the judge yourself. Thank you. you know, that's it. That's, <laughs> Thank you, that's it. What, awesome. what else can you say? Right? More than welcome to pass yeah. by. You know. Look at my pictures. Oh, look yeah. at look at the video, you know. If you if you want to see if it's worth it or not, you got to check it out for yourself. I mean, you got to see it to believe it. Awesome. Yeah, very cool. Thanks for having me, as always. Thank you, Larry. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Bye. Thank you.